Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us. We got another exciting week here at Aquascape. Maybe even a little stressful. Definitely gonna be exhausting. I'm sitting in our Koi retail area. I can't wait to show you the reveal of this place. We've got more fish coming in. We finished some aquatic plants. We finished some terrestrial plants. We finished some countertops, so on and so on. We have the aqua gardens to take care of. I ripped that thing up. I put a giant bomb back there and I have to get it ready in the next like 10 days. I've got a veggie garden thing I have to deal with. We have spring sale happening. So we've got all kinds of aquatic plants we've got fish we've got to clean the place wipe everything down get product ready etc etc you guys i'm almost exhausted just talking about it so i can't wait to show you everything going on this week you guys stay tuned because it's going to be another fun awesome episode we are going to build a pondless waterfall the best way to learn anything is to teach it we are rocking and rolling on this pond Good morning, everybody. It's Brian from Team Aquascape. <sighs> I'm happy, sad, excited, um, a little overwhelmed. You wanna know why? Let's start with the sad. Why am I sad? Because I am standing in the middle of what was supposed to be the most epic employee vegetable garden and nothing has been done. I still have my giant hole over here for my 3,000 plus gallon rainwater harvesting system and nothing's being done. So here's the good news. The good news is, are we not gonna do the employee vegetable garden? Heck no. Of course we're still gonna do the employee vegetable garden, but I had to prioritize stuff. Right now we have spring sale coming up in two weeks. So I have a little bit more than 10 days to finish everything in the aqua gardens and that's the priority That's why people come here. They want to be inspired by things we built things We're doing new innovative ways to do stuff, etc, etc The employee vegetable garden can wait and actually I'm still super passionate about it I want to do it. I'll just pick at it. So I'm gonna kind of pick at it throughout the summer I want to take you guys on that journey and make sure I still show you that but I think the journey right now We should all go on is aqua gardens back over here Let me show you some of the things we're gonna be doing back here and the things I've got to get done in a very, very short amount of time. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape, and I am sitting in our beautiful, mm, yeah, I know it's beautiful, our beautiful aqua gardens. The reason I'm back here today is because I've wanted to redo these aqua gardens for quite some time, and last year, we put in a really, really, really cool swim pond that we'd been looking at doing for some time, and after we finished that swim pond, I was even more motivated to redo the entire aqua gardens. But this was the whole catalyst behind the aqua gardens. This is the original Stack Slate Urn. Sat here with my little stone chisel, like boop, 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 and built this thing. This then turned into everything else back over here or inspired kind of the aqua gardens and to create a place where people could walk around, good ideas, and so on and so on. It's just getting a little tired, right? It's not that the water features are bad. In fact, this waterfall I love a lot, but yes, we're ripping it out. We're gonna give it a brand new look. Now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get rid of these basalt columns and I wanna do more of a meandering stream that kind of starts from back in that area and works its way down so I want you to kind of come through here and be inspired all over the place we're gonna redo this walkway back and through here again it's just been kind of taking a beating so this is gonna get redone the wall is gonna get redone right now I see that swim pond back off in the distance I want to block off this wall of the pergola structure and do some hanging type panels some artistic type panels the purpose of that is so you can't see what's beyond it you'll come over here then you'll really discover the big swim pond I want to put a chair right here, some sofas here, do a new pond in here. This pond is going to be more of our koi pond. I want to go three and a half, almost four feet deep with the thing. Uh, I want to bring that pond right up into this space so you can see those koi right up in here, three feet to four feet right off of the patio. This is all going to get a new bluestone patio. We'll come back up into here, maybe a big waterfall over in that area off of that berm. will give us more height to do a bigger waterfall going that way. These trees are all going to come out. I hate, hate, hate losing mature trees, but all of these spruces have a like a scab or something on them. And so the thought was just take them down and we'll plant new ones. So for every tree that we take down, we'll plant two more new ones and I'll be okay with it.
Hey, so I also wanted to let you guys know that we read your comments and we really appreciate all the comments. It makes us get better. It makes us come up with content. And one of you guys wanted to actually know what was going on with our big indoor wetland filter. So I'm gonna show you, come on. So if you remember, those of you who haven't seen the episode, I think it was titled like largest indoor wetland filter ever. And I don't think I'm lying. It is a huge indoor wetland filter. We have two 4,500 or like 5,000 gallon above ground swimming pools that we transformed into a giant wetland filter. Filled up with aqua blocks and bio balls and then a little gravel over the top. All the water's pumped in, raises, and then through gravity goes through those little pipes over there and falls back into the pond. And I'll show you just how clear the water water is. Our fish are super healthy. Everything looks great, which is really good because everybody's coming this weekend to buy the fish. But look at how healthy these fish are. More important, look at how clear, well, not more important, just as important, look at how clear the water is. So we have about 75 fish. It's a lot of fish in a small space and you can do that as long as you have the filtration for it. So again, thanks for the comments. I hope someday you actually make it out to Aqualand and you can see for yourself. But in the meantime, keep watching the YouTube videos. Let's go do the rest of the stuff we gotta do, come on. So this is what I'm excited about. We talked about sad, we talked about anxiety, a little bit of stress, but this is what keeps me going. We are building what's gonna be my favorite small pond of all times, and here's why. We're gonna build this entire thing using stack slate wall. So you can see I've got a stack slate wall down in there. We've got one right below me in here. The liner comes back up behind everything. You can see Billy. Billy, say hi. Hi. You're becoming a regular face around here. Yeah. <laughs> Billy from Brothers Water Gardens out of Texas came in just to give me a hand because I said, doing this by myself just wasn't as much fun. And Billy, look at that smile, right? <laughs> so we're gonna come in here, try to build this thing out as many stack slate walls as we possibly can. It's a lot like our rec pond over here. So our rec pond, we used 90% Unilock stone for all of our walls and everything else with just adding a couple big boulders here and there. This is supposed to be a smaller version of that using all of our stacks slate walls and then just a couple big boulders here and there. You know, instead of trying to explain this here let's go over to the design i kind of drew it out roughly and we'll get a better idea of exactly what the heck is going on up here here we go all right guys so here's it i promised i would show you the design that i drew up and what i'm super surprised with is how close the design is to what we're actually building so here's that pergola right in here is the post that comes the closest to the pond these are those stack slate walls that are supporting that new patio that come in there you can see when we're stacking those walls up uh, we get to a total of 39 inches which works out perfect because because then I can set my water level three inches lower than that, giving me a final depth of three feet. Here's those curved walls kind of going this way. We've got another one going like this. This is that big one that we're kind of calling like Rapunzel Tower if we kept going up and up and up. And then we just got in here and started setting some of these walls here and these walls in here. The only thing I don't have right now is this bowl. I'm not sure if that bowl is going to fit in there. We do have our skim cove. We made this considerably bigger. This went back kind of more like this. It just felt better when we get back in there. And I think that's what's so nice about being able to draw something but being able to have the freedom to move past the design a little bit if you have the space and that happens so much when we're building water features we have to have the flexibility to kind of massage manipulate the design the way we feel it looks better in the backyard or in this case in our aqua garden so this area in here is the area that we still have to work on this is going to get a mini little wetland filter in here and then a waterfall coming off the side and i'm really picturing a super simple waterfall just kind of that sheet style maybe 12 inches wide, maybe 15 inches wide. Just narrow but tall, dropping down in here and then into this wetland space. We still got a lot of work to do. The other thing we did, we said it would be cool to take these walls, which originally were designed to have aquatic plants kind of grow over them or terrestrial plants grow over them with a signature type tree in here. We're still gonna do the signature tree, but we went ahead and plumbed all of these walls. So this is gonna turn into a big weeping wall. So I'm super excited the way it's turning out. I love that aquascape. It gives me the creative freedom to do kind of whatever I want to in the aqua gardens. They're also this year giving me the time to do it. I am working really, really against the clock. I will agree that I might have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, but I do know one thing. The event is next Friday and it'll be running by next Friday. I promise, I promise, I promise. And I've never lied. Here we go. All right, guys, quick intermission. I cannot believe how much stuff is happening this week here at Aquascape. You know, I'm still plugging away with Billy back in the aqua gardens, trying to work on these ponds, these different water features. We got Jeff from Premier Landscaping working on all the hardscape. I'm driving around Aquascape with a phone in my hand, but it's okay because I'm just here at Aquascape. I'm not on the road, so don't think I'm not being safe. I've cleared the pathway. I <laughs> think it's fine. But the reason we're taking a quick intermission is more fish are here. Yes! 
bass, more fish. All these fish come from my good friend, Sean Rosen, out at Koi Market. They're out of, out of Long Island, New York. He has the best fish. I just love them, love them, love them. Thanks so much, Sean, for getting these fish out here. Oh my gosh, I'm driving past a lot of boxes. These are Greg's Tosai. He has this vision of swimming with hundreds and hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds of baby fish that will be for sale later in the year. We're gonna try to grow them out and see how they look. Hey guys, let's go check out those boxes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And you guys might think we're crazy to buy this many more fish, but we have this huge event coming on and I know we're gonna go through all these. In fact, even Sean from Koi Market down in Long Island said, are you sure you need this many fish? And yes, we need this many fish because we're gonna sell them all out. And Sean, I promise you, we're probably gonna get more from you. So I don't know how many boxes we have here. It seems like a lot, but it's because, like I said, Greg has this big vision of swimming with baby fish. I don't know where it comes from because I thought he liked turtles, not fish, but Greg is Greg and it's his company. So if he wants to swim with baby fish, he gets to swim with baby fish. What I'm excited with you guys is to show you what's inside these boxes. I actually went out to Sean's place and handpicked 90% of these fish, not including the little small guys. That's not possible. If you do, something's wrong with you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but let's get these things out of here. They came on an airplane. They were boxed up yesterday, and we're gonna see what's in here. These are six to 10 inches. These go with us. This one's not labeled, so I'm gonna assume these are the little guys. Oh, I remember picking these guys out. Some Shiru Utsuri, some really nice guys in here. Shinoda, oh, these are really, really nice. Nisai, two-year-old fish. Let's just go do these. So this is that box, we had no idea what it was. These are all white platinum Ogons. Oh yeah, I love these fish. You see this 50 butterfly koi? Part of these were supposed to go in the back out there in that rec pond. 50 of these fish Greg are supposed to be swimming with. So we're gonna steal 50 of Greg's personal fish and sell them. I'll sell them to you guys as long as you promise not to tell Greg. Guys, opening up the first box of all of Greg's Tosai. Not all of them, remember I stole 50 of them. <laughs> but all of these are gonna live in our rec pond back here for at least a year. Greg wants to swim with them. We also wanna grow them out. These will all be available for sale next year this time, and hopefully a little bit bigger. butterfly koi that we stole from Greg. So there should be about 50 of them in here, maybe 25. Ooh, they're pretty nice. We're definitely gonna sell these guys. There's so many in here, I'm catching them without even looking. I love the platinum fish. I just think the platinum, like look at how they just sparkle. And so these are platinum ogons and Jinrin platinum ogons. And the Jinrin are the ones with more of the sparkly scales there. So there's just a nice mix here, but look at them, they just hop. The other thing I really look for, like sometimes you get white on a fish and the white as it gets towards the head turns a little bit more yellow. Look at how white the heads of these fish are. These are all Showas. These are all Showas that Sean personally picked out for us. And the one thing about Showas when they're small like this, the Tosai, you're really not picking them based off the pattern that they look like now. You're picking them off of what you think the pattern is gonna develop like over the next two, three years. I'll show you one for an example. So if you see this one here, it's actually got a lot of black or the sumi underneath some of the white. So as this fish develops, a lot more of that black is gonna come out. And so you're deciding, like if you're gonna pick this fish, see even the black towards the tail, how there's like some white shining through a lot of that will disappear and it'll all turn black so this fish as it grows bigger will have a lot more black on it than it will white if you're looking for one with a little bit more white then you'd look for the one next to it over here 
And that's why you take a chance with small koi. The reason they're priced less than some of the big ones is because the big ones, once they get into that like 24 inch range, the colors are pretty defined. You know what that fish is gonna look like. It's not gonna change that much over time. But look at the difference between these shows here and these shows here. There's a reason these are more expensive. You can see the really defined marks on these guys, where these guys over here are still developing a little bit more. But really, in the eye of the beholder, which one's your favorite? One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh my god. These are worth a whole lot more. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, oh my god. god. fish are in here i'll tell you what there are some incredible incredible fish in here which makes me super excited because then next year we're gonna have some amazing fish in fact both mary and i saved our favorite one for the end i've never ever seen a fish like this look at how beautiful this fish is well the black and white scales that fish could develop to be really really cool all right buddy welcome to your new home Oh, look, he likes me. So get back at it here. I'm gonna start getting these walls in back over in here and then they can start the patio back behind me. absolutely love the way this thing's turning out. I think this area looks so great. I love how deep it just goes right down off the edge of the patio, straight down three feet. We're following the design pretty darn close. Like remember, these are all gonna get planted up. That's our intake bay back in there. The only thing I decided not to do was a skimmer box on there because everything's gonna circulate back into there. It allows our water level to fluctuate a little bit more with an intake bay. You can even see off in the distance, the two vaults just behind it. And then a really simple high ties on get it elegant looking waterfall that's to scale with this space love the way it's coming together hope you're liking the progress What do you guys think like the transformation of this place is pretty big right and it's not just the countertops and the plants but the fish like aren't the fish just incredible i know the whole space is supposed to look good but the fish are really the showpiece of the entire room i hope you guys agree so we're getting all this ready all this work has been done for that big event our spring sale and there's so much more come on like look at all the aquatic plants look at all these <laughs> lilies galore and then we've got all kinds of tropical water lilies down over there we got hardy plants over there more plants more plants more plants and believe it or not it's not enough we are gonna run out of plants the other reason people come is for all of this stuff this is all clearance stuff and so this is something we do once a year the reason we do all this the plants the fish is really to say thank you to our past customers. All this stuff, everything out here, all this preparation means at this point, we only have two days left. 
That means I only have two days, one, two, to finish up everything I've destroyed in the aqua gardens. I gotta fix all that up. I gotta get it completely ready for all of our customers. I tell you what though, I am like giddy excited. I feel like it's almost my first pod. That's how excited I am about that thing being finished. It is unbelievable the transformation we've all made back there. I can't wait to show you guys next week. So you know what to do. Make sure next week you tune in, same time, same channel. Tell all your friends, because this is a can't miss episode. The big reveal of the Aqua Gardens and of course, everything that goes on with our spring sale. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye.